Hi, this is Sparrow. I am 10 years old, and my favorite ride in Disney is Everest. Hi, I'm Stitch. I'm 7 years old. My favorite ride in Disney World is Story. And I'm Tony, your Disney dad. I'm 37 years old, and my favorite ride in Walt Disney World is Small World. Welcome! Disney Discussions! Aloha! So we have some guests with us today. We have... Minnie. And how old are you, Minnie? Six. And what's your favorite ride in Disney? It's a small one. And we also have... My name is Donald Duck, and I'm eight years old, and my favorite ride in Disney is Everest. I am Goofy, and I am 10 years old, and my favorite ride in Disney is the Rock and Roll Coaster. Nice. All right. Welcome to the second episode of Disney Good Discussion. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Yes, we'll get to all that later. Yeah. So. I'll have boring stuff later. Yeah, I hope you guys like it's the first. It's not really boring. Yeah, it's not boring. It's needed stuff so we get followers. It's fun too. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode. We do have a few videos on YouTube. Um, we have some unboxing videos. So first, we'll get into this. Last Friday was Force Friday. Friday. Yay! So what that means is all the new toys came out for the Star Wars Last Jedi. Um. Oh, you guys went to the store. Did you see anything did. cool? I saw they had um, two new Spheros. They had an R2-D2 Spheros. Yeah, that looks and, really um, cool. A new uh, type of BB-8 model for a Spheros. Yeah. Goofy and Minnie and Donald, have you guys seen this? Okay. So it's a little R2-D2 you can control with an app. Oh, wow. And it goes around and moves. Yeah. And I saw online, you can even watch the Star Wars movies with it, and it'll react isn't that oh, yeah, cool? Yeah, you can do the yeah. same thing with the BB-8 Sphero. I have too. Yep. So check out our YouTube channel, uh, Disney Discussions. Uh, we have some unboxings. Sparrow did one for Star Wars stuff, and Stitch did one for non-Star Wars I, stuff. I, but I just reviewed the toys because I already, I yeah. already opened them. Exactly. Also, that came out is I don't know if you guys have seen this. A oh. new. Yeah, they're looking at the picture right now. A new Millennium Falcon Lego set. Oh. $100. That's it more is, than the Millennium Falcon. This, not the Millennium Falcon, the Death, Death Star. Star. This is the most expensive Lego set wow. ever made. Wow. Who would buy that? I don't know. Some rich people, I guess. <laughs> so, rich people. yeah, so okay. what it comes with, it comes with the different um, radar dishes. So you can either have like um, the Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon or the Force Awakens. It comes with Rey, old Han Solo, and Finn. It comes with some Porgs from Last Jedi, uh, BB-8, and then it comes with young Han Solo, C-3PO, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca. Those look like from Empire Strikes Back. And then uh, what are the things that eat oh. the wires? What are they called? Uh, they were recently in a Freemaker Adventures episode. Yeah, I forget what they're called. Yeah, I forget what they're called. Forgive me. If you know, comment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so comment yeah. below. So yeah, they, it's seven, uh, $800 Lego set. It does look really cool. But it seems to be an expert set. It says age of 16 and up. I could probably build it. 7,541 pieces. Yeah, I think, oh, it's an Ultimate Collector Series. So that came out. Yeah, they probably, wow. the thing probably that's, says that's like a, one per house. That's a cool box. That's though. a cube. Yeah, it, yeah, the box is a cube. That's so a cool so box, though. I, I can't imagine even what the instructions look like, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> it must be as thick as the, the set or something. Yeah. So, no. oh, it probably has two instructions. Two, it probably, yeah, yeah at least two, know. right? More than two. And they're probably actual books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe 200 books. page books. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we won't be doing a review of that anytime soon unless Lego, hey, you want to send us a, a review unit, we'll put it together. Yeah, of course we will. For free, but I'm not paying. Yeah. It has a limit of five. I don't know who's going to be buying five, five of, of these, these for $800. Things. What? That's crazy. <laughs> that, that, that's just. Please, they probably only made five copies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second item is the Disney Cruise Lines. You guys know about the Disney Cruise Lines, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you go on a cruise and it has Disney stuff. Well, they have one that has a Marvel Day at Sea. Nice. So one of the days you're out in the ocean, you get to interact with all these Marvel characters. So they just revealed that Black Widow and Hawkeye are going to be there. Along with the first ever Disney uh, cruise appearance of Iron Man, Star Lord, Whoa. Gamora, Whoa. and Groot. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, all, 
I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. That's a good people, question. They probably have a guy in stilts. They don't yeah. show in the picture here, so maybe but, it's just a small puppet there. Yeah. Or maybe it's a robot. Like, yeah. If it's a big guy, they probably have a guy. They probably have a guy in stilts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you could also meet uh, Spider-Man, Captain Ooh. America, Ooh. Thor, and Doctor nice. Strange. Doctor Strange. Wow. I, I, wonder, I wonder if it's a real uh actors that'd be, or... yeah that'd be cool if it was right yeah. well, i don't know we'll have to go on one and see or else, <laughs> or else the people would... so you can actually train with some of your super your Whoa. favorite superheroes while you're there yeah they have, a, they have oh. a thing on the ship called marvel's avengers academy so i guess they teach you that and they also have a show they do a show and you get to meet a bunch of them and there's fireworks so pretty I cool. Really my ears. So those premieres on some seven and eight night uh, Bahama cruises. Oh, I'll leave you from New York. And in early 2018, I would love to go on a Disney cruise too. Our friends went on one. They love it. So maybe one day we could do that. That'd be cool. All right. The third thing I have is, um, do you guys know they're building a whole Toy Story land in Hollywood Studios? Yeah. Yeah. So they, they knocked down a bunch of the Hollywood studios, so they're building a Star Wars land, and that's going to open in 2019. But in 2018, next summer, there's a whole Toy Story land. So they're building that now. But the big news is, this week, the Slinky Dog coaster actually showed up. So they finished the track. They're having a, a roller coaster in it, which you ride Slinky Dog. So the whole thing with Toy Story land is in you're in Andy's backyard. And so he set up his own amusement park using his toys and stuff. So it's going to look like as you walk through, it's going to be like you're shrinking down the toy size. Oh, that's And everything cool. looks like there's going to be like big Legos and like the fence looks like it's made out of popsicle sticks and stuff. Oh, that is so cool. But one of the rides is you get to ride in Slinky Dog on a oh, roller coaster. That'll be epic. Yeah, that'll be cool. And then they have another ride where it's the alien saucers. Where it's like the teacups and you just you spin around. I know you guys like the, the spinning rides, right? I know. Not so much, not so much you, Goofy. Minnie does. <laughs> Goofy pukes on the. Oh, I, 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 sometimes I go too fast and then I look at my board. Well, we, we recently had a birthday party for Sparrow and they had uh, dizzy dinosaurs. And their dinosaur was oh going the fastest, the fastest I've, I've ever I seen. Think, I kind of felt like we were going to go in the air. We were going so fast. <laughs> I don't want, I wasn't on that. Yeah, but yeah. the roller coaster looks cool. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see next summer that'll open up, but it you looks like just rock, like Slinky Dog. You like rock and roller coaster? You'll like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see the video? Yeah. yeah. So. Well, that looks cool. Yeah, they don't show anything of the ride yet. But, oh man. Well, it's not uh, the, it's oh, not yeah. on the track yet. Yeah. But there was people driving on the road in Florida, and they saw a Slinky Dog on the back of a truck, <laughs> <laughs> and they put pictures up on Twitter. It's pretty funny to see. That would be cool to see. It yeah. would be. Driving All right. My next uh, thing I have is, do you guys remember Miles from Tomorrowland? Yeah. yeah. And Disney Junior, do you guys like that show? A little. Yeah, yeah. a little. They're, a little. they're changing it now. Ooh, nice. Where now it's it's not Miles from Tomorrowland anymore. It's Mission Force One. I like that a lot better. That's a, that's a good name, so right? It sounds a lot better. Yeah. So it looks like yeah. instead of being with his family, he's now with... Um, some aliens and friends, and they go on uh, adventures in space. But it seems each one, yeah, they have different and they suits. Have different skin. And they, different haircut. Oh, uh, yeah, he looks older, too, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. It looks like also it goes with the, um, what used to be STEM, and now it's STEAM, like science, technology, uh, mechanics, but now they added art. So it looks like each one of them um, specializes in that. Like this nice. guy looks like he's uh, math yes. and science. Art, all that kind of stuff. So that looks cool. Yeah, it does. I like to see that. Keep them updating the shows. Yeah, yeah. Now this one looks a lot better than the old one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of miss that it doesn't have Tomorrowland in the title, though, because then okay, it, though. it tied into the like, Tomorrowland of Disney. Either. But with that, it, it wasn't really as cool. Like with this family and stuff, they didn't get along at all. <laughs> really? They were no. always arguing? Yeah, they were like always arguing together and stuff. So maybe so, that ostrich thing isn't there anymore. Yeah, it looks it's like it, Murph. or at least it was in the picture. Hopefully, it's yeah. there. Yeah, I like Murph. So my, I lost count now. What is this? My fifth item? Sure. Um, no, fourth. Fourth or fifth? We'll fourth have to review fifth. and see. Yeah. Okay. The next item 
um, is they're kind of changing how they do character dining at the parks. Oh, really? So, you know, you would go, you would sit down, and the characters would come to you, mm -hmm. and they would give you autographs and stuff. You guys have all done that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite character to meet Minnie in Disney World? Minnie Mouse? Minnie Mouse? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. What's I like your, meeting what's, Donald Duck. Yeah, of course you do. You do a good Donald Duck voice. Can we hear it? <laughs> that's pretty good. Who, who's your favorite Goofy? Um, I don't know. All right, you think about it. Stitch, who's your favorite character to meet? Stitch? Oh, I see a trend here. It goes with your name, Goofy. He's funny. Yeah, yeah. Sparrow? What? Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, oh, he was funny. He, he scared yeah. mommy, right? Yeah, I didn't. He him. told me. He was like, son. Yeah. To me. I was like, and he, and he was like, my mom um, was like, my mom had a really weird face in her head. Yeah. Like, yeah, she was very scared. <laughs> All right, so the changes they're making in some of the places, um, Hollywood and Vine, Crystal Palace, and Ohana, they are asked, they're giving you pre signed autographed cards um, oh, instead of signing your book, which I think is lame. Yeah. I'd rather have them come and sign it. But I guess they're trying to make things go quicker. Mm -hmm. So they're doing that at there's uh, Rapunzel and Flynn Rider meet and, meet, uh, meet and greet. I wonder how they do their hair. Rapunzel's hair. Wait. They, she's just got to grow it really, really long. Mm -hmm. Or it's just a wig. Probably just a wig. No, that's ridiculous. It's, a it's her real hair. So wig. there's a restaurant, Tutoria El Farino that does breakfast with these characters, and they're uh, handing out. Now, they'll still sign your book if you ask them to, but it looks like they're testing to see how well the pre-autographed cards do. Now, some characters do this, like Olaf does it, and I know... Um, Mike and Sully did it. Mike and Sully did it. The so characters where, like, their hands are, like, bigger size. Yeah. They usually do this. But, Olaf I mean, can't hold it. Yeah, Olaf, yeah. But the characters that could do it, I think they should do it. It seems yeah. silly. Now, some of them, they're also changing in Stitch. Ohana Stitch. for morning. Stitch hey. doesn't go around your table anymore. Yeah. He stands outside of Ohana, and you get Ooh. your picture with him. Hey. And then you go sit down, and then Mickey and Pluto, and who's the other one that, that meets uh, at Ohana? Uh, Eeyore. Minnie, me. Minnie. No. Minnie. No, it was Lilo. no, not Minnie. Lilo. Yeah, it's Lilo. Lilo. Yeah. 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 We're getting all our character preface confused. Right? <laughs> so they'll come around. I, I think that's okay. I yeah. can understand why they do that, because everyone wants to meet Stitch, so I they get their wish, time. I, I kind of wish they picked, like, the characters were the waiters. That'd be cool. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. Like, they should Stitch, have... Stitch can do, like, like pancakes. Yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah. cool if they had a whole restaurant like that, right? Stitch likes to eat pancakes. Yeah, that's true. And then his yeah. restaurant, he does. <laughs> and but... Yeah, this is what Disney does. They try things out, see if it works. If it doesn't, then they, they take it away. Um, so so I think they should autograph your book. Yeah. No pre-autograph cards, yeah. right? But meeting one character in the front, that's fine. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Because, yeah. like, I guess people really like Stitch and... Yeah. Everybody just gets their time with Like, them. my name is Stitch, because they like to meet Stitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the last thing I have on uh, going with expensive, like... Um, the Millennium Falcon was, you could get a VIP tour at Animal Kingdom. You spend $265. This is on top. Per person? Or? Per person. Oh, wow. This oh, is on yeah. top of already having to have a ticket to get inside. Oh, no. So oh, no. $265, but you get to skip the lines uh -huh. for the Pandora attraction. So you get okay. to go on Flight of Passage, River Journey, Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, Safaris, and then you get special seating for the River of Light nighttime show. Hey, so you're hitting all the all the the good rides. Main ride. You go right on, and you also get to go to the can. Uh, you get a so I don't know how to say this. It's a Thule Canteen sampler. So you go to one of the restaurants, you get a sampler, and you get a beverage and popcorn along with that. Nice. So it's two hundred sixty-five dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> Got to be nineteen cents. I don't know. Yeah, do. Uh, per person. But if you have if you're an annual pass holder or a DVC member or a Disney Visa card holder. You get a 15% discount. But I don't know. Do you think $265, it's worth it to go to just go to the yes. front of the lines of these rides? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll time. tell you guys, this first one, Flight of Passage, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a three-hour wait for that ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy says Everest, it's worth it. If you don't have a fast test, that could be a lot. Right. Too. Yep. Yep. So maybe it's worth it. My mom likes booking fast passes. It's a lot easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier to book fast passes. <laughs> yes. All right. So that's all the news topics I've had. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to 
to keep going and do different news topics each week. And I heard from I heard from some of you uh, that you like the game we play, the waiting time game. Uh, do you guys want to play the the waiting game? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I love to explain to them yes. what it is. Yes. So we guess the wait. We guess which is the um longest wait time in the parks. So we we can pick a ride and then we guess which one is the longest. And then we just say the what ride we think is the longest. Yeah, the last time we did the podcast, the two rides Sammy were gonna pick were temporarily closed. Yep. So now remember, today's a holiday. We're recording on Labor Day. Uh, September 4th, so crowds are probably high at the parks. Yeah. So, so we'll pick Magic Kingdom first. Yeah. Okay, that's you that's guys, park ever made. picture in Florida, yeah. In Florida, Florida. So picture in your mind Magic Kingdom, it's the one with the castle, all your favorite I think rides. I know that's fun. What do you guys I... think is the ride with the longest wait time right now? And I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll tell you. Carousel of Progress is temporarily closed. Me but that's Mickey. probably never going to be on, yeah. <laughs> on that Mickey. listing. He Me. says meeting Talking Mickey. Yeah. Meet Mickey in Town Square. Yep. Donald, do you have a guess? Uh, nope. What do you think, Goofy? Think meet Mickey. Meet Mickey? Minnie, do you have a guess? Uh, no. It's actually Space Mountain. What? Space Mountain. Although, well, all right, let's let's be fair here. Big Thunder Mountain, Meeting Mickey, Peter Pan, and Space Mountain all have a 70-minute wait. So, okay, so you guys guessed right. right. It, it's a it right. five-way tie there. Wow. All right. So now, Epcot. What do you think is the longest wait in Epcot right now? Nothing seems to be closed. Everything's test running. Test track. Yeah. Yeah, test track. Test awesome. You guys are right. Test track. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. I would have guessed Frozen, but Frozen is only 35 minutes. Right oh, now. wow. Yep. All right, Hollywood Studio. Oh, Tower Terror. You said Tower Terror. Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Roller Coaster. Barry, you're sticking with Tower Terror. You are wrong. It is Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah. 105 minute wait. Yeah. Tower Terror second. Rock, no. Toy Story Mania second. Oh. Then Tower Terror is only 30 minute wait. That's not bad. I just don't like that ride. All right. Next up, this is Animal Kingdom. Avatar, Flight of Passage, Everest. You say Everest? Everest. Wow. They say Everest. Flight of Passage. It's Flight of Passage. Yes! It's always. It's 150 minute wait. Wait. It's always. That's two, out, two and a half hour wait for it's a ride. It's always Flight of Passage. Crazy, huh? And, and, wait, is that with or without a fa- fast pass? That's without a fast pass. Okay. That's without a fast pass. These are all without fast passes. I know. Fast pass line. It's, it's probably long, like too, right? Passage. You're probably at least waiting 40 minutes on a fast pass. Yeah. That's, that's it's a long not time. Bad. It's not as bad, but for fast pass, that's a long time. All right, so I don't know if we'll play that game every podcast, but we'll do it every once in a while. You guys yeah. seem to like it. All right, did you, know, did you guys like visiting our podcast? Yes. Yeah. All right, maybe. Is this cool? Yeah. Um, so we are visiting the Mickey, Donald, um, Mickey. Goofy, and Goofy, and Epcot, and, right? And and when they we got there so early that when they were first going in, we got to go with them to their little spots. Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh no! Yeah, that is so, so cool. Yeah, That's awesome. special and cool. Uh huh. Did your parents to... get good pictures of that too? Yes. <laughs> not a lot of people get to do that. No, not at all. Go early. I got it Minnie because I was wearing a Minnie t-shirt. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, because you were wearing a Minnie tour hat. Minnie kept up with the tour hat. I guess you were doing it and you were happy. Like, yeah. look, 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 look. Very cool. All right, guys. Everyone say goodbye. Hello. 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 Bye-bye. All right. Thanks for joining uh, our second episode of Disney Discussions. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and anywhere you listen to podcasts. Rate and review us. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Disney underscore Discuss and on Instagram as well at Disney underscore Discuss. We're on Facebook at Disney Discussions and on YouTube as Disney Discussions. We have a couple videos up, some unboxings by Sparrow and Stitch. Uh, You can see our Forest Friday hauls and some other toys we open. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for all the great feedback so far. Thanks to Jeff. 
uh, for rating our podcast five stars on Apple Podcasts. Appreciate that. Continue to rate and review us. It really helps us out and gets the word out there about our podcast, and we really appreciate it. We're having fun doing this. I hope you're having fun listening. I'm still here. I'm still here. I like you, Jeff. I like you. All right. See you real soon. Aloha.